Right in the heart of the fast growing Kitengela suburbs, we meet Lucy Munga, the founder of Fabulous Moms, whose mastery in offering financial solutions for young women has set her apart from her peers with her services helping women wear through tough financial times. Financial coaching as a business is very lucrative, it's very nice, it's because that is what most people are lacking in modern society or even in Kenya in general. Um, most small businesses or even um, self-employed or even people who are employed lack the right knowledge on how to manage their finances and therefore you find that um, it's, it's very very important to bring that awareness to those people so that whatever income they, are, they have they are able now to structure it in such a way that it can benefit their, themselves, their lives and their future. Most wealthy people have a minimum of seven income streams, seven income streams. And the reason for that is because sometimes if you just put all your eggs in one basket and that basket, something goes wrong, most likely you, you will you'll be out in debt and in a, in a bad situation. But if you have a second income, a third income, all that means is that uh, the second and the third, in case one goes wrong, the other one will cushion the situation and you're able to manage your finances and you're able to support your family, you're able to support, you know, and, and even to continue investing and looking for other opportunities to build more income. The need of a second source of income is painstakingly made clear by her prodigy Florence, who found herself in a tight spot during the COVID-19 period, using the social media platforms to find her salvation from not only dwindling funds, but also low demand for her family products. Everything shut down for, for a while. I think it was around um, April, May. So for that time while I was seated in the house, thinking now there's no teaching going on, there's nothing going on, so what can I do with myself? Even though you have a career, it is important to have something else to rely on. And so for me, being a lecturer, I thought it is important to start something. And this is when she started talking about looking for something you're passionate about or something you're experienced in. And that's when I remembered I have coffee. And that's where I started from. It is important to keep our finances in check as soon as we start earning. You're able to provide for your family. You're able to, to do everything. You, you have an income and you've even multiplied your income. In a bid to achieve financial independence that insulates us from future uncertainty, the financial coach makes it clear that this requires personal investment and growth, especially in the financial field. When you want, if you want to begin a business and now it's much easier because the licenses are much fewer, um, just start small and start with the first step and start applying for the necessary few licenses that are remaining. And also it's important also to consult a coach or financial consultant so that you don't make mistakes from the beginning. I advocate for online businesses. I'm tech in nature and I always um, help people scale up their business online. In fact, that is my flagship project or rather flag flagship program. People are now online. So if you can build your presence online in terms of a website, in terms of maybe Facebook pages, go to YouTube, speak up and also now spread the message online, you most likely even get more people. So I would really advocate that um, if you have a business, if you're planning to start a business, step up, go online, showcase your products and services, and for sure there's somebody somewhere waiting for you. As uh, someone starts building their wealth, it's very, very important to know where are they at the present, where do they want to be, and, the, and what goals do they want to achieve? So the first thing is to set proper financial goals. Um, you can have a goal like, uh, in the next 12 months, I want to have built or to have this kind of income. And once you've defined that figure, then you need to go back and build some steps, daily steps, weekly steps, monthly steps, so that you are able to achieve that particular goal that you have for that period of time.
financial responsibility is of great importance, especially with the return of businesses and responsibility to the common Kenyan. Therefore, having a new job or a side hustle is of great importance. Mind your money to safeguard a better future. Sherin Solitaire reporting for K24 Business.